representing Germany for his first PGA Tour win. And it's a light pocket it swishes out the seven. And a really nice start for Pascal. Winternheimer versus Thomas Larson and Stuart Williams versus Jesper Svensson. Watch this, folks. 20 years of age from Gothenburg, Sweden. Left-handed, two-hander, throwing urethane. He'll take the finger holes right out of it. Thin as a whip. Here's the delivery. Splash the rack, but four pin spare combo. Thomas Larson stepping up on the right lane. Lane four from Denmark. Six years on tour, two tour titles. He is a specialist at the down and in lane play. Light and a two pin. Thomas Larson opening shot representing Denmark. He's got two PBA tour titles. They've been earned overseas. He's yet to win one here on American soil. Today's Columbia 300 fun pack in his two three-game blocks of Mac play this event. Jesper Svensson rolled a pair of 800 series, 804 and 806. Good for a 268 plus average. And an open frame leading the five. Inauspicious start for Svensson. Thomas Larson shooting the single pin against Pascal Winternheimer. lane for Svensson with urethane even with all that power and speed his miss has to be right not left similar hit shakes out all but the three again coming in light but this time a much easier leave just the three pin Thomas Larson's been following the PBA Tour since he was a kid, and this opportunity is a dream come true when we spoke to him. His eyes lit up at the opportunity. As he lit up that rack. Beautiful shot in great form. Hand up the back of the ball, down and in. Reminds me a little bit of Norm Duke. You know, his style is, is a little similar to that. Svensson pre prefers to keep it simple, tries not to think. Let it happen. Spare converted. So on the board with a clean frame. Jesper Svensson. The favorite in this, though, has to be Stu Williams. He's the only one with television experience. And if this oil pattern breaks down to where you have to move in and open up the lane, that's a huge advantage for Stu Williams. For Winternheimer, he's won multiple titles in Germany, also earning a team bronze medal at the 2010 World Men's Championship. And here is the experienced one, Stuart Williams, a winner on the PBA Tour, 34 years old. Spends a lot of time in the States now with his wife, Tina. I asked him why, why, he, made all, or why he was able to make all the finals in the animal patterns. He says, because I'm an animal, Randy. <laughs> Truer words were never spoken. He's quite the character. Very entertaining. Now, Winternheimer working on a double. Says it's all about staying in the routine. That's left and left. What a break. Crossover, rip the rack messenger. Brooklyn side, but you know what? One more one has to. Sometimes it's not how, it's how many. Stuart Williams mantra, one more like the last two. Two good ones to start. Opening double, third frame, simultaneous semifinals. Winners advance on the middle pair for our title match. Oh, dear. Oh, dear is light, and 2 4 10 pays the price. Looks like he came up and out of it early. Come on, man. Missed it right. Ball hydroplanes leaving the 2 4 10. Watch this game, folks. Very simple. Hand up the back. 
with an emphasis on shot making. Larson splashes it out. He likes being slow and soft by keeping his steps and swings. Stuart Williams on the attempt of the split and he opens. So cool. Back over to Thomas Larson. Who likes keeping it slow. Yeah, and you know, on 43 feet, it, it's it's uh, imperative that your ball speed matches the pattern. And you know, he he's done a really good job of that, adjusting surface speed, and obviously his hand position, keeping his lines and his angles in front of him. Uh, looks like he's got a pretty good look too. It's nice to see players playing that part of the lane for a change. You know, we're used to seeing them deep inside, fourth, fifth arrow, loft in the gutter caps. But this new oil that we've used this year at the World Series of Bowling is very, very slick and it's held up. Benson does have a World Bowling Tour title in Bahrain, third frame. Oh, Benson. Oh, 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 yes, double messenger. Oh, that, that was savage pin action. How about the twin blades and today's Barbasol close shave of the day? Here's a double shave. Watch the pin action from this urethane bowling ball with a 600 plus RPM rev rate going through those pins. Oh my. Svensson also owns a PBA regional title, also won in Nevada 2014 in Vegas. The young man is just whipping thin and translates all of that energy into the rock. Hey, when I was 20, I was with thin too. Give him some time, Mike. Oh, my. Svensson, deep pocket hit and a double. All international field, and they will continue. Winterheimer, Larson, Williams, and Svensson when we return. To Rita. We all know this guy. One high score and it's non-stop trash talk. With Rolltech Action Bowling, guys like this can get their wish. Are you <coughs> pin dropper 300? Let's do this. Good luck, little buddy. Rolltech Action Bullet. Make your mark. For those who pledge allegiance to life, liberty, and the endless pursuit of a damn good time, we have one suggestion. Find your passion in Reno Tahoe, USA. All seasons, a thousand reasons. Brought to you by Circus Circus, El Dorado, and Silver Legacy Resorts in Reno. Visit RenoTahoe.com. Peter Pan, you stay young forever. It's what you do. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch you to Geico. So it's what you do. You make me feel so spring has sprung. Wide. Extra frame is always on. It's the online bowling channel. Watch live qualifying rounds and match play from every PBA Tour stock and every PBA 50 Tour event on your big screen, PC, mobile phone, or tablet. Archived nationally televised shows and content is available 24-7. Extra 
Extra Frame is always on. Subscribe now at www.extraframe.tv. Alabama emphatic and dominant. The Clemson Tigers still undefeated. Henry. Touchdown, Alabama! We ain't no underdog. Nobody believes in this team except these guys. Two teams playing great football. EYOG, bring your own guts. The National Championship presented by AT&T, Alabama, Clemson, January 11th at 8.30 on ESPN and streaming live on Watch ESPN and the ESPN app. We have taken two things that you love and we have made them one thing that you love. Anything you can watch on ESPN, you can now stream live on the ESPN app. The PBA Chameleon Championship presented by HotelPlanner.com is brought to you by Reno Tahoe USA. For your next vacation getaway, go to VisitRenoTahoe.com. By GEICO, over 75 years of savings and service. By Eldorado, Silver Legacy and Circus Circus, Reno's premier downtown properties. By Roltec. Try Roltec Action Bowling's daily contest and win real cash using your league scores. Make your mark. The Reno Arch has welcomed travelers to the biggest little city in the world since 1926. Time now for Chameleon Championship Tournament Highlights, the round of eight featuring all international versus all USA lineup in each of the four matches. Jasper Spenson. 3-0 over Kyle True. Stuart Williams goes the distance against Jacob Buttrip, outlasting, going 3-2 to advance. Thomas Larson also goes the distance against Scott Norton, winning 3-2. And, and Pascal Winternheimer, 3-1, defeating Bill O'Neill. All four international players, Svensson versus Williams and Winternheimer versus Larson in the semifinals, each defeating Americans in the round of eight to form this semifinal field. Stuart Williams, the first Englishman to win on the PBA Tour at the Viper Championship for country and for family. Me and my father used to play crown green balls in the summer and of course in England in the winter it's very cold and the grass isn't, you can't really be on it. So we, um, a bowling center opened up pretty close to where we lived so me and my, be my dad actually started at the same time. We were both terrible together. We kind of taught each other so it worked out, it worked out pretty well. Me and my father ran a small shop. He still does it, you know, I, you know when I can I help him out, you know. I get phone calls, you know, what do you think this ball does? Where's this going to fit? I've got this guy who wants to do this, this, and this. What do you think? And I'm like, um, I'll give you a call back. Let me think about it. I've actually got his logo on my shirts now. So that, 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 that's been kind of fun. He's, he's convinced that that's the reason I've had so much success this week at the World Series, because I've bowled probably the best I've done in my life. And he said, see, you got the lucky logo on now. It's all good. So yeah, he's taking some of the credit for that. Father knows best. Never underestimate family support. While we were away, Stuart Williams trailing by four, working in the fourth frame, slides the 10 pin out of the rack and sets himself up with a chance to take the lead here in the fifth frame. Light hit in the pocket, revealing double wood. Meanwhile, Jesper Spenson with a four pin lead and a double working, looking to extend the lead. This strike in the fifth to extend to 14, looking to go to 24. But this light hit reveals a 6-9-10. Pascal Winternheimer in this even match with Thomas Larson extends his string of strikes with this big trip two in the fourth. And a more conventional strike in the fifth frame doubles the lead to 20 pins. Thomas Larson looking to cut into that lead fifth frame. Mixing strike, taking out the seven, cutting the lead in half, chance to tie things back up. But a ball out the window, and the super washout. And this brilliant conversion by Thomas Larson keeps the match within 15 pins. 
welcome back to the PBA Chameleon Championship. Mike Jakubowski with Randy Peterson and Kimberly Pressler as we roll on at the Kingpin Club at the National Bowling Stadium in Reno, Nevada. Jesper Svensson with an 11 pin lead over Stuart Williams in one semifinal. And Pascal Winternheimer has the front five and a 15 pin lead in the other semifinal as we roll on. Great crowd support here, enjoyed by all in Reno. And Pascal Winternheimer's got the front five working now in the sixth. And they all fall down. Very simple game, just hand up the back. Roll it, let the ball do the work. Don't try to overpower anything. But right now, Stu Williams needs to get to strike and, and talking with his ball reps during the break, he decided to try to, to go a little softer speed. As you can see his arsenal here, he's using the eternal cell. You know, saw the match. Two rules of thumb for Stu Williams. He either looks a little bit left and turns the speed up, or he stays in that line there and gets a little softer. Pascal Winternheimer plus 25 over Thomas Larson. He's got them all so far. Through the blue. And across the nose. And the 6-10 interrupts the streak. Well, if you're Thomas Larson, his opponent, that's exactly what you were Same waiting thing. for cool. in opening. Key shot here for Williams. He can cut the lead to just one seventh frame, getting late. In our semifinals, the two winners here will meet each other in the middle for the Chameleon Championship title. Stu, better strike here. And it's just a touch light, leaving a roller and the set. Wow, that was mean. Yeah, it was a really good shot that he threw there. Great touch on that shot, and just not enough motion in the back part of the lane to get the seven out. Stuart Williams on the single pin spare attempt, covering the seven pin in tournament stats, courtesy of Roltec, indicating that Jesper Svensson, Stuart Williams, and Thomas Larson, all perfect through qualifying with single pin spare conversions. Thomas Larson trailed by 23. He's got the strongest ball in his bag. Warrior Elite, 10 out of 10. Way on the outside, missing the head pin. One, two. Yeah, and when we were away, he left the super wash out the one, two, four, six, ten, but was able to convert back to back miscues, poor execution for Thomas Larson when it looked like he was just locked in. Yes, for Spencer, plus 11. Boy, this two handed style popular throughout the world now. Oh. <laughs> and a double handful oh. strike in the seventh. Nasty. The pin action that's created with this two-handed style because of the power and speed is just ridiculous. Thomas Larson converts and trails by 25, just three frames remaining. Larson has bowled in every World Series and now his first TV appearance. Yes, for Svensson. up 11 against a PBA champion in his television debut. He's got the pitch black. Oh. That's unfair. A urethane bowling ball doing that to pins is scary. He was the qualifying leader, and we saw that game after game after game. He led the entire field, defeating Andres Gomez and Kyle Troop to earn his spot here. Now eighth frame against Winternheimer. Thomas needs a strike. And that gets into the nose, and it's a 4-7. Completely lost the pocket the last three shots. <laughs> Getting late. 
Stuart Williams trails by 21, eighth frame. Spare working. 